undergoing a fast development stage. With this uh, scarcity of water resources, we particularly feel that we need science and also rational thinking to put into this fast development stage. Otherwise, it is dangerous. So, in the 20th century, we are all the same quality of 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 the the independent opinions put into the national strategy. As you see from the map, China is now undergoing a, a precedent water diversion project. It has three lines, east, west, and middle. And this is the overall structure of the China to relocate its water resources. They call it the three horizontal and four vertical, a uh, three vertical, four horizontal kind of water diversion project. 在这个世界上，其他国家像澳大利亚、美国这些国家也也根据这个水资源的布局、不分配、不均匀，也进行了一些调调水工程。但是中国目前实行的这个南水北调是全世界呃最最大的。在这个南水北调这个大的三个调水工程的同时呢，在这几年的发展当中，很多地区也提出了一些局部的一些。调水的一些一些项目，比如说这个以江济汉，就是以长江及汉江这个工程呢，也是现在在进行顺利成功。另外，这个陕西省由于这个关东地区的发展，又提出了以汉济渭，就是以汉江济渭济渭河。四川呢，又提出了以大济民，就是以大渡河济漓江。另外在，在在黄河流域有很多这个。小的调水工程，像以这个呃，由于这个民勤的民勤的这个石羊河断水，呃，实施了这个南太黄工程，在山西省山西省实施了这个引黄济泾，另外呢，最最近北京又提出这个引黄济泾，因为南水北调中线工程呢没有按计划如期如期实现。所以，为了这个解决这个这近几年的一些水资源问题呢，北京最近提出了引黄济泾。另外，在黄河的，在在这个河套地区，早就实施了这个分分黄工程，哎，对河套水源进行一些农业灌溉。所以，这些在南水北调这个大的调水工程上面呢，就不断的提出来一些小的这个这个项目。So lots of information set. Basically, the three major water diversion projects, approved, uh, I mean, driven by the central government, is only the big picture. Under that big framework, there are also provincial level water diversion. Some of them are at city level. It's uh, pretty much you see the little arrows there. So the major ones, the three big ones. This is east, central, and the, uh, west, central, and the east. Water diversion, that's at the national level. But the provincial level, there are many of these kind of diversions that are happening. So, this, 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 Right. This greatly altered the water systems of China and changed the relationship between the rivers and the lakes and also the relationship of the water and the, uh, the ecosystem.
ecosystem. And also, not only it's changed the nature course, it also caused a lot of unpredicted problems associated with the huge investments into it. 另外呢，就是在这个解决北方地区水资源不足的这个同时呢，现在在水资源相对丰富丰富的西南，现在也在实施一些这个调水工程，一个是就是金沙江和四川盆地南、四川省南边的，要提出再造一个都江堰，所以呢，他就用烂向家坝，金沙江向家坝水电工程呢，现在又增加了一个向家坝引水。就是要在四川南部再造一个都江堰，另外呢，在滇中，滇中地区是已经干旱，就是这几年的极端干旱现象也比较比较频繁。同时，昆明大昆明的建设，呃，导致了滇池严重的水污染，所以这个云南省呢又提出了滇中引水工程。这个滇中引水呢是从金沙江啊这个水，通过这个八百多米的高沙扬尘，把它输送到这个滇中高滇中高原。同时对电池进行治理。呃、uh, ，under that big frame, we can see some local activities here. And、uh, one of the local activity is happening in Sichuan. By building the mega dams in this area called Xiangjiabba, Sichuan is also thinking of re-divert some of the Yangtze River's upstream water into feed this area. By doing that, they can create more hydropower. And also to feed the region which is in drought. Other than Sichuan, Yunnan made another huge movement. And at the moment, as I, as far as I know, the NDRC seems like、uh, in principle, in principle, proved this planning. This is to divert water from Jinsha Jiang, which is the upper stream of Yangtze River. Directly cross the central part of Yunnan and feed it into Kunming. Kunming is in such a drought and it's lake, Dian Lake, one of those freshwater lake. It's pretty much non-usable for any purpose. So doing that, they are not going、uh, going to feed the Kunming, the huge metropolitan in developing, but also wish to wash clean the Dian Lake. <coughs> 因为滇中引水，这个云南省已经提出了十多年了。由于这个金沙江的这个控制性水库、五条峡水库一直没有确定下来这个方案，所以滇中调水的方案呢也一直实施不了。现在由于虎跳峡鱼谷八级的虎跳峡这个龙头水库，现在因为生态和这个移移民问题，迟迟定不下来。而鱼谷八级的这个七级呢，这些水电站已经开始建设。所以云南省也也现在也也等不住了，就等不住这个最终的这个龙头水库的最后决策。所以云南省从今年开始提出，就是说不再呃，就是说不不依靠五条峡这个龙头水库，而自己提出了一个引水方案。哎，就是不依赖五条峡水库的水。所以云南省今年今年呢，向这个国家提出来，要要提前实施这种调水。所以这项工程呢，很有可能。Uh, for Yunnan in particular, they have been thinking of such a project for more than ten years. But due to the ecological impact and the semantic uh, dangers of this first、uh, hydropower construction in Hu Tiao Xia, and this is in Jin Sha Jia as the first、uh, um, hydropower station, it will control the following seven steps. Step-step hydropower. If this one cannot be built, then the rest of them, the efficiency and the use of the water would be greatly impacted.、Uh, however, this station is being has been under the debate for many years, and it's uh, like uh, moving a bit forward and then step back a bit forward、It、has been in that situation for a bit long. Then Yunnan in this year they feel they cannot wait any longer because the drought struck the central part of Yunnan in the past four years in continuous time, and Yunnan this year raised another kind of plan to the central government to say, okay, we don't need the water from this hydropower station, no need to wait for the storage of the water here, but we can go from another tributary of this river. Uh, this river is called the Niu Lan Jiang. We will go to divert water that feeding Jinsha Jiang from there divert directly into Kunming. And、uh, 
but they have been made such an appeal to the central government, and it's likely in the 12th five-year planning they might be able to push it through. Hundo 
Government Mountain uh, in this area, the hydropower development went extensively ahead. In fact, we produced another report talking about this problem last year called uh, Hydropower Intensification in Southwest China. And uh, Yang introduced in this area not only the rivers being, you can see all of these red dots, these are the ones, some of them are the mega stations. If they all built as, a, as planned, then in five to ten years, the top ten biggest hydropower stations, six of them will be located in this region. And uh, not only the mega power, we can see those are the ones they are still planning. In the tributaries, the less mega scale still going on, and uh, it's in like another frenzy of development. 